I'm Steve Rendell from Haynes Publishing. Uh, I'm looking after the Robot Wars Build Your Own Robot Manual and we're here on the set of Robot Wars in Scotland. Uh, we've asked a few of the competitors to give us an insight into what goes on behind the scenes and their experiences of building their own robots. Okay, we are the Kegs. Um, I am Jamie, this is Jonathan and team captain John Frizzell who is around the um, the robots are Keg 1 and Keg 2, nice original names, um, and they're both made by us. Living next door to a pub, um, you, I mean you see kegs and things around outside the pub constantly and we just thought that would make quite a good shell, I think it was Joe's idea. Because we're using in essence a sort of found object it's quite difficult to precisely cut the holes in it because um, we've got to you know the wheels have to be holes have to be cut in the precise locations of the wheels and they're quite difficult to measure so I guess that's probably it. The tip I would give is probably start small there are lots of different robot categories these are heavyweight robots um, but you can actually make robots this size and still sort of battle them with other people. Um, and they are less likely to kill you um, and easier to sort of get to grips with to start with. I actually love being in the pits. Um, the camaraderie and just the friendly attitude. You can wander around and ask to borrow anything, everyone's happy to help. Um, and it's just really nice to be here. Uh, John Frizzell, our captain, has, has been doing spinners for years and so it sort of was a natural progression. The last robot we did was a spinner, um, so we've just upgraded and gone for bigger, heavier bars.